Welcome back to Dark Feminine Consciousness. I am Tifaro. Today I'm going to share with you five simple feminine self-care rituals. As modern women, we get caught up in life and business and relationships and we forget about taking care of self. We forget that we need to rest we forget that we need to restore if our cup is half full or empty we cannot fulfill our feminine purpose we have to take time away from everything that keeps us busy everything that takes our energy and so we have to fill ourselves back up as often as we can do it you don't have to take a spa day once or twice a week or every day you can include some simple rituals in your everyday activities those will help you with a little bit more balance for the day during the week during the month i don't remember as a child really seeing a lot of women in my family do anything you know in terms of feminine care i don't recall well my grandmother you know, when I think about it, my grandmother was quite feminine, my, my mother's mother. Because I remember going into her bathroom and I was always fascinated because there was so much to look at. And she used to, you know those little jars they used to keep powders in and she had a little puff in there and the powder had a really nice fragrance, really feminine and floral. And then on her counter, her counter was always full of stuff just really nice lotions and butters and um, nail polish and makeup very feminine and then she had one of those I don't I don't know what you call them I should know what you call them in the bathroom next to the toilet there was the, the it's a it's like a feminine wash you would sit down over it and get like a a wash the water would come up to your vagina when you sit down over it she had one of those in her bathroom for years i didn't know what the hell that thing was i just remember going in the bathroom and we always but kids we find everything to freaking play with for some reason i don't know why we thought that was something cool to play with but we used to play with it <laughs> But it's not until I became an adult that I realized what it was. I didn't really see her go through her rituals, but I know she had a lot of tools for feminine care. I don't recall my mother having very many of those. But then my grandmother had this space to be very feminine because my grandfather was the one who worked. And so um, he would work and bring home the money to her. And so she had a lot of time to do things that she she would still contribute you know but she would do things that she enjoyed doing she never really like work work a job but she she and she did things that she enjoyed doing to make money um, my mother on the other hand didn't really have the space to be very feminine the first one is to lotion yourself and this ritual i took from one of my friends mcdaniel now i've known mcdaniel for a long time i've known her for years this girl has never changed about this this has always been it's a constant she has to lotion herself after she showers she takes a little bit a while to shower as well she, she spends a long time in the shower and um, I couldn't really understand like girl it takes a long for beard but I kind of do that now and it's a part of my self-care like I take a little bit while longer to shower and now with my soaps because I enjoy the bathing with my soap so much I love the smell I love the texture of the soap I love the foaming I love everything about it so it's like I, I stay longer and I, I'm very intentional about you know cleansing and removing and, and so all of it is a ritual as well not just right I could also add this this could have been number six a freaking shower but you know we take showers every day but we're just not really intentional about how we shower so after she showers this is a period for her where there's no disturbance you can't break her from that ritual once she starts she doesn't stop you can't interrupt her 
so if there's anything that you want you're gonna have to wait until this is complete because she has to do it every time she showers so she lays her towel out on the bed she sits on it naked as the day she born and then she starts from here and she goes right down to her feet and she's very intentional very gentle about getting everywhere i mean no ash will be left behind every corner her breast her back she goes in her own hair and very gently she goes over her legs right down to her feet every time every time i don't know her to break this ritual she does it every time she showers she's one of my most feminine friends and so this to me is just one of her feminine ways and so she does it either with lotion or she does it she used to do it with baby oil i don't know if she do it with with baby oil anymore but now i know she used like a really nice lotion or a nice body butter so i taken up this practice this ritual of lotion in myself and so every time that I shower this is a part of my experience a part of taking care of myself and it feels amazing you know especially now I, I the lotion I made a lotion the other day and so I've been using I made it for my face really but it's nice on my body and so I've been using it after i shower and i love it i love it i'm just like every time i do it i'm like why wasn't i doing this before why you know i just take my time just like how she does it i spread the towel on the bed and i sit down and i go hands you know chest and then i go to my back and i come around and put my feet up and i go Mm. but it feels amazing when I'm done I feel like okay I'm ready either take on the day or I'm ready to just have a really good night's rest number two is to cook something for yourself I think cooking for yourself is one of the highest forms of self-care because you put the energy into the food while you're cooking it you can set intentions with your food you can tell the food what you want it to do when it enters your body. So it's a very intimate experience when you cook for yourself, especially if you're cooking something that you love and something that you're good at. There are some people who aren't very good cooks, but there is one thing that they're really good at making. I know somebody who can't cook nothing at all, but they make a badass fritters. Find something that you're really good at cooking, anything at all, and make it for yourself sit down and just enjoy it one of the best feelings is when you finish making a meal and you can sit down and fully enjoy it and get into all of the flavor that you created all of the things that you put together to make this meal and the satisfaction that comes from that it's hard to compare that number three is to take a bath and I know most people in Jamaica have showers, but I'm sure there might be a spa that you can go to and, and get a bath, pay for a bath. They do mud baths at um, spas, no? So they must give a regular bath, I'm sure. Look into it. A bath is one of the most soothing things that you can do for yourself. You set some candles. Um, light some incense, put on some music. The bath is a part of a, a cleansing process. And so you can cleanse spiritually, physically, emotionally, just by sitting, sitting in a bath. And you can add, um, well, I wouldn't really recommend essential oils for a bath, but you can add bath salts, you know, bath bombs. There are so many options for baths these days or you can add herbs and make it a spiritual bath a spiritual bath is very similar to what jamaicans do all the time when they say they're going to go to the beach and wash off the crosses yeah number four is to take a sun bath and this is one of my favorite things to do i love doing this and i do it at any moment in time whenever i feel like i just go and sit in the sun and I used to love it as a little girl I remember just sitting and waiting for the sun to get up 
you know to the right point where it's it's hot enough where i can just sit in it and just suck up all of that energy now it's something that i do often i don't know why people don't do it as often you know because it's so beneficial for one because you get vitamin d from the sun it is so energizing just like the sun feeds the plants the sun feeds us as well and so it's important that we sit down and soak it up i know people think that white people go to the beach just for sun tanning but i think they also do it because it just feels good it feels amazing my fifth and final feminine self-care ritual is yoni steams i was searching for ways to cleanse physically spiritually emotionally and so one of the things that i came across was yoni steams and that it is good for clearing negative energy from toxic relationships and just clearing their energy from your energy a lot of people don't realize that when you have intercourse with someone when you share your body with someone you take on a lot of their spirit you take on a lot of their energies and the energies that they have engaged in as well and so it is important to clear yourself and reset after these relationships have ended especially if they were toxic so what i ended up doing was just going through the herbs that i had already and seeing what could work so i just grabbed a few things and i did my first yoni steam with the herbs that i had from my kitchen it's something that i did for a while i would go into meditation during a yoni steam i would think about all of the things that i want to clear my energy of and i would sometimes think about the things that i wanted to invite into my energy more but more than anything i would it would just be a cleansing and a clearing and so i was telling myself all of the things that i wanted i was talking to my womb and i was talking to my vagina and so i did this ritual for quite some time until it just became a part of my, my self-care ritual that i would do every now and then you know when i just want to feel nice i just want to feel relaxed I just want to you know restore myself a little bit I just want to take care of Tefara if I have a self-care Sunday then the Yoni steam would be a part of that but it's not really like an everyday ritual although it would be nice speaking of Yoni steams I do sell Yoni steams the sacred seven Yoni steam is on my website it has some really amazing floral herbs in there they're all flowers and they're very soothing to the skin very soothing to the spirit as well very calming and relaxing and i think something that you would enjoy if you haven't tried ioni steam now is your chance i think you should try it click the link in the description box for a discount on the yoni steam a 10 percent discount on the yoni steam I don't know I leave that one open indefinitely but only who has watched this video will have access to this discount to the Yoni steam so those are my five feminine self-care rituals for the empresses out there who want to tap more into their divine feminine really want to start practicing being more feminine taking care of self more don't forget to subscribe i have lots more divine feminine content coming up soon so you want to stay tuned for that take care of yourself and we'll link up in the next video all right later guys